Lijep pozdrav, dragi moji, dragi moji, dobrodošli u još jednu lekciju na ovom kanalu. U prethodnoj lekciji ovog serijala naučili smo jedan od načina kako možemo parafrazirati, to jest reći na drugi način, pitanje koje počinje sa when. Danas učimo drugi način. I hope you're ready. Let's get started. Drugi način na koji možemo parafrazirati pitanja s when u engleskom jeziku jeste da ga započnemo sa frazom How long is it? How long is it? Dakle, koliko je pa nešto, koliko je prošlo od nekog vremena. Iza toga ćemo upotrijebiti izraz since. Znamo da je since karakteristično za present perfect i da iza njega dolazi tačka u prošlosti. Je li tako? A rekli smo isto tako da ta tačka u prošlosti može biti izražena i rečenicom koja mora biti u običnom prošlom vremenu. Što to sada znači za ovu današnju konstrukciju? To znači da ćemo i za since morati imati rečenicu, odnosno dio rečenice u običnom prošlom vremenu. To nam ne bi trebao biti problem jer i naše pitanje sa when je izraženo sa običnim prošlim vremenom. Međutim, i za since ne možemo imati formu pitanja, moramo imati formu izjavne rečenice, što znači da će naš dio pitanja did you move morati preći u oblik za izjavne rečenice. Što to znači? Morat ćemo imati onaj poredak, subjekat, glagol u ličnom glagolskom obliku na kojem ćemo imati nastavak d ili je d ukoliko je pravilan, ukoliko je nepravilan, naravno imat ćemo onaj oblik iz druge koloni. Dakle, ne možemo i za sins u ovoj konstrukciji imati ovaj poredak, dakle poredak koji je tipičan za pitanja, gdje imamo pomoćni glagol did, pa subjekat, pa glagol u infinitivu, glavni glagol u infinitivu. Znači, reći ćemo you, mora doći prvo subjekat, naš glagol move će postati moved i ostatak ćemo samo da prepišemo. Dakle, did you move je prešlo u you moved, a rekli smo već zašto. Dakle, how long is it je fraza sa kojom počnemo današnja pitanja, potom slijedi since i onda mi naše pitanje, u ovom slučaju did you move, prebacujemo u izjavnu rečenicu, odnosno oblik izjavne rečenice, pa imamo poredak subjekat iza kojeg dolazi glagol u obliku za prošlo vrijeme. Dakle, sa nastavkom d ili ed ili ukoliko je nepravilan, riječ je o drugoj koloni. Dakle, how long is it since you moved into your current apartment. When did she graduate from university? Rekli smo da pitanje počnemo izrazom How long is it? Pa ide na naše since i did she graduate? Moramo staviti oblik za izjednu rečenicu, je li tako? Dakle, how long is it since she graduated from university How long is it since she graduated from university U početku ćemo polako da se priviknemo na ovu konstrukciju When did they start their business Kažemo How long is it since pa did they start, prebacujemo u izjavni oblik, they started their business. How long is it since they started their business? When did you last travel abroad? Ja rečem se sad ne prevodim jer smo ih prevodili u prošloj u lekciji broj 1a. Dakle, how long is it since did you travel? Postaje you last traveled abroad. How long is it since you last traveled abroad? When did he leave the company? 
How long is it since, naravno, did he leave to the postane? He left. I naravno prepišem the company. How long is it since he left the company? When did you meet them? How long is it since did you meet poste? You met takoy them. How long is it since you met them? When did you move out of your parents' house? How long is it since did you move? You moved, that's right, out of your parents' house. How long is it, ponavljajte, to jako bitno, since you moved out of your parents' house. When did they buy their first house? How long is it, dakle koliko je dugo, koliko je dugo prošlo, since did they buy, postaje, they bought their first house. How long is it since they bought their first house? Nadam se nešto sanjete o how long is it since. When did she adopt her pet? Koliko je prošlo od kako je ona usvojila svog ljubimca? How long is it since she što? Adopted, pravilni glagol, her pet. How long is it since she adopted her pet? When did you last visit your hometown? How long is it since did you last visit poste? You last visited your hometown. How long is it since you last visited your hometown? When did you move to the city? How long is it since did you move poste? Da, you moved to this city. How long is it since you moved to this city? When did she start her job? Koliko je prošlo od kako ona počela svoj posao? Počela da radi. How long is it since did she start postaje? She started her job. Naravno. How long is it since she started her job. When did they get married? How long is it since did they get poste? They got, naravno. Married. How long is it since they got married. When did you buy your car? How long is it since did you buy poste? Naravno, you bought your car. How long is it since you bought your car? When did he visit his parents? 
How long is it since? Kako dalje? He visited his parents. How long is it since he visited his parents? Koliko je prošlo od kako on posjetio svoje roditelje? When did you last see her? Koliko je dugo prošlo od kako se zadnji put vidio? How long is it since you last saw her? How long is it since you last saw her? When did they move into their new house? How long is it since što dalje? They moved into their new house. How long is it since they moved into their new house? When did you start learning English? How long is it since you started learning English? How long is it since you started learning English? When did he finish his degree? Koliko je prošlo od kako je on diplomirao? How long is it since he finished his degree? How long is it since he finished his degree? When did you join the company? How long is it since you joined the company? How long is it since you joined the company? U drugom dijelu lekciji, naravno, radimo na našoj fluentnosti. Nakon što ja pročitam pitanje sa when, daću vam malo vremena da vi sami parafrazirate ovo pitanje koristeći se konstrukcijom koju smo naučili danas. Onda ćete naravno ponoviti tu konstrukciju još jednom zajedno sa mnom. When did you move into your current apartment? How long is it since you moved into your current apartment? When did she graduate from university? How long is it since she graduated from university? When did they start their business? How long is it since they started their business? When did you last travel abroad? How long is it since you last traveled abroad? When did he leave the company? How long is it since he left the company? When did you meet them? How long is it since you met them? When did you move out of your parents' house?
How long is it since you moved out of your parents' house? When did they buy their first house? How long is it since they bought their first house? When did she adopt her pet? How long is it since she adopted her pet? When did you last visit your hometown? How long is it since you last visited your hometown? When did you move to the city, to this city? How long is it since you moved to this city? When did she start her job? How long is it since she started her job? When did they get married? How long is it since they got married? When did you buy your car? How long is it since you bought your car? When did he visit his parents? How long is it since he visited his parents? When did you last see her? How long is it since you last saw her? When did they move into their new house? How long is it since they moved into their new house? When did you start learning English? How long is it since you started learning English? When did he finish his degree? How long is it since he finished his degree? When did you join the company? How long is it since you joined the company? Vjerujem da već nakon ove prve dvije lekcije serijala Paraphrase It, odnosno pričaj da bi propričao, već osjetite tu razliku u svojoj fluentnosti. Poslušajte moj savjet, lekcije ponavljajte kada god zato imate priliku, dakle najmanje nekih pola sata dnevno odvojite da slušate ove lekcije i vjerujte da rezultati zaista neće izostajati. U narodnoj lekciji ovog serijala opet ćemo se baviti parafrazom i opet će biti biti naglasak na razvijanju naše fluentnosti. Ukoliko još uvijek niste zapratili ovaj kanal, ja vas svakako pozivam da to učinite kako biste uvijek bili u toku sa dešavanjima na ovom kanalu. Do naredne lekcije vas svakako se lijepo pozdravljam i nadam se se vidimo uskoro.